Yo, what is good, YouTube? Uh, I just got back from Zero Dark Thirty. Uh, unfortunately, this video isn't in HD, but when I do my, I'm I'm actually extending it to top 15 movies of the year. I will be doing that video in all HD. I'm gonna try and add some pictures, maybe some movie clips. Uh, that'll that'll be nicely presented. Um, and then after that, I'll try and get into some more shoe videos. I'm not sure if I'm going to be picking up the breads. But uh, the Kamikazes, they had a crazy pre-order on Packer shoes. So if you guys didn't check that out, uh, I think it's a little too late at this point. But only $100 for Kamikazes, which was kind of shocking to me. But uh, let's get into this, this movie review. Now, I... I'm just going to say, I was a little let down, I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm going to start off by saying, I am not a, I wasn't a huge fan of The Hurt Locker. Um, and when I went to see it with my dad and my brother, my brother's in the Air Force, uh, and, and a lot of other people I talked to really liked that movie. Um, I personally thought it was on the boring side, and I didn't really connect to a lot of the characters. And I felt that was the same thing that... that took place in this movie and something that really kind of bothered me and took me by surprise was everybody is saying Jessica Chastain front runner for best actress of the year I did not think she did a good job um, she was kind of annoying to me and, and I'm not sure if uh, that's if her character was supposed to be kind of a standoffish annoying type of person but she just didn't do it for me, and I if she gets Best Actress, I think it would be a disgrace, honestly. But uh, the first about hour and a half of the movie, this is almost a three-hour movie, so it's really long. About the first hour and a half, in my personal opinion, in my personal opinion, was basically like a bad version of Argo. Um, I loved Argo. And to me, this was a poor version of that same type of movie, where everybody knows the outcome based on real events, uh, and I just thought it was slow, kind of drawn out. And one thing that, it didn't really bother me too much, but in a lot of reviews I've been reading, um, it's, I've been seeing a lot of 8s and 9s or 1s and 2s. And all the ones and twos, every single one of them complains about the torture scenes in this movie and basically how they argue that uh, torture doesn't really work. Now, I have no clue on that, don't know any of the research. I'm not going to get into any political debates, but I'd really be interested to see what you guys think uh, after you view the m movie and, and looking at some of those scenes. Uh, to me, it didn't really have an effect one way or the other. Uh, I just thought it was kind of unnecessary almost. Uh, I didn't really think it was needed too much in the movie. I thought they kind of got a little carried away with the story. But uh, I will say that the ending, about the last 45 minutes, at least to me, the anticipation did build. And I really did enjoy the ending. I thought... I thought overall this movie was solid, but don't see it tired because you'll fall asleep. Um, at least the first half, it's it is pretty boring, dialogue heavy. Uh, I thought it was out of all the front runners for Oscar consideration, it was one of the most uh, slow moving movies that I've seen this year. Uh, slower than The Hobbit by far. Uh, slower than Lincoln. Um, I just thought it was a really slow moving movie, but uh, I did think it was was pretty solid. Um, I at the end of the day, I'd probably give it a seven out of ten. Um, and when I do do my top fifteen, I'm a, I'm assuming it'll make it. But to me, it it isn't even in my probably my top ten. And everybody that's saying it's front runner for picture of the year. I just don't know. I it left me wanting a lot more. Um I thought some of the actors were miscast. 
Uh, some of the jokes were a little, uh, I guess I would say, kind of in the wrong situation at the wrong time. And really, overall, I think that for such a good story, it could have been written and directed much better. Uh, I don't get the whole hype behind uh, Catherine Bigelow, who's the lady who directed this. I believe it's Mark Bull or whoever wrote it. They also worked on the Hurt Locker together. I just don't get what's with this buzz building um, from them. I mean, I, I'm interested to see your guys' opinions. Uh, I'm not trying to dissuade anybody from seeing it. I thought it was a good movie, but I'm just warning you it's long. Uh, I thought the acting performances were way overrated. Um, but the SEAL team scene, searching for Bin Laden, I thought that was pretty pretty epic. And uh, it did build suspense. And uh, I, I think it, it did... I, I did leave satisfied. I thought it was a solid movie, but not a great movie. Um, so that's my review on this one. I'll be really be interested interested to see your guys' opinions on this one. I think this one could get a very wide-ranging uh, uh, amount of perspective because I think Hobbit and Django were, for the most part, mostly positive for most user reviewers. At least the, based on my YouTube videos, IMDb, blogs that I look at. Uh, those two movies, I would say the, the heavy majority were positive reviews. This movie, I've been seeing 50-50, very stark contrast. So, I would love to see your comments, um, thoughts on my review, and my top 15 should be coming within the next week. Top 15 movies of 2012. Uh, it'll be in HD, have uh, pictures, hopefully some video clips. I'm going to amp it up a little bit, and hopefully I can do a few more shoe reviews in HD as well. Um, but until that time, guys, as always, thanks a lot. Take it easy. Peace.